We're going to take a look here at Algebra 1099. And hopefully the first part of the pace, the first half or so, you were able to get through, all right? And, and looking at it, it doesn't, you're looking for like terms, to combining, you know, adding like terms, that kind of a thing. And um, if you, and this builds on the first two paces at the beginning. So hopefully you did well with that. If you do have an issue earlier in the pace, let me know. Um, I do know <clears throat> that these, this concept here on pages 27 through 29, and then the last two more lessons after that, um, I think going over some examples together would be helpful. So we're gonna do that right now. On page 27, first of all, <clears throat> we have what's called a trinomial, three terms, and we're dividing by a single term, a monomial, okay? The simplest way to do these is to write each one over the common denominator by itself. I'm going to give myself a little more room here, all right? Negative 6a squared b, and write that over negative 3a. All right, then negative 9ab, and put that over negative 3a. Now I can simplify each of these. So 3 over 3 is going to cancel out, and I'm going to get negative 1. And then I bring this a up, right, and it becomes negative a to the negative 1. So I can subtract and get a squared. What's negative 6 divided by negative 3? Negative divided by negative is a positive. 6 divided by 3, we get 2, all right? I'm going to take this a up, and so it becomes a to the negative 1. So now I'll have 2 minus 1 is a. <clears throat> the other way you can picture this is I have a times a on the top, right? And then on the bottom I have 1a. And so two, those a's cancel out, so you just have 1a on the top. We still have a b on the top, all right? What's negative 9 divided by negative 3? 3. The a's cancel out, a on the top, a on the bottom cancel out, or you could picture it as being negative 1, so 1 minus 1. And then we just have the b left. We're done. That's the entire problem, okay? Now let's look at a more complicated problem, <clears throat> and uh, that is dividing with a <clears throat> the division sign here. We're going to, instead of doing it this method, we're going to divide the negative 2a into the 8a to the third. All right. Picture this being over this. So we, it's like saying 8a to the third over negative 2a. Okay, does that help? If you picture it that way, what is 8 divided by negative 2? Negative 4, right? And then a to the third divided by a, so bring this up because minus one, or one of these cancels if you want to think of it that way, so it would be a squared, okay? Now we can take negative 2a and divide it into the negative 4a squared b. So 4 divided by 2, or we should say negative 4 divided by negative 2. Are you with me? 2, a squared divided by a, we're going to subtract the exponents, 2 minus 1, a. There is no b out here, so we just leave the b as part of the answer. All right. Let's start this last one. I'll let you finish this one. But notice we have 6 divided by negative 2, which is going to be negative 3. It looks like the a completely cancels out. So a divided by a. Or you could subtract the exponents, 1 minus 1 is 0, and then we still have the b squared, which reappears part of the answer. Let's do uh, this one, this one, whoo, wow, this looks complicated, doesn't it? Well, it's not as bad as it looks. Let's start by taking the 60 and divide by negative 15, and that would give us negative 4, right, 15 times 4 is 60. The x to the third divided by x, we're going to subtract the exponent. 6 minus, or 3, 3 minus 1 would give me x squared. 2 minus 1, 1. Okay? Negative 15 x squared y to the third divided by this. Well, 15 divided by 15 is 1. Negative divided by negative, positive. 
Okay, subtract the exponents. When we're dividing, we subtract the exponents. So two minus the invisible one, x, y to the third minus y to the one, y squared. Okay, I'm not gonna do the last one for you. I'm gonna let you finish that one. You just do the same thing. Divide the coefficients, subtract the exponents. Oh, we might not even have a variable in that last term. All right, I'm going to stop this video for now. We'll do another lesson in a minute on the next concept of dividing polynomials in just a second.